Okay, my name's Darren Campion, and I'm the senior producer on Dirt 3. Hi, my name's Paul Coleman, and I'm senior games designer on Dirt 3. For Dirt 2 we uh, received a lot of feedback from the fans, uh, as soon as it hit the shelves we were getting uh, responses back, so uh, it was the logical next step to go straight on to Dirt 3. We also took some telemetry data from Dirt 2, uh, found out what players were playing. One of the main things we found out was when people were playing online they really enjoyed playing the rally and the rally cross elements of the game. So uh, we took that information and uh, it allowed us to focus our efforts. So we've obviously got a budget that we work to. So when we're going and looking at tracks, uh, tracks to, to put into the game, what cars we're going to feature in the game, those are what we uh, have uh, introduced into Dirt, Dirt 3. So rally cars, rally cross cars, rally tracks, rally, rally cross tracks, they're all represented. We've even brought head to head in as well. So uh, that's like the spectator stages where you go head to head with another competitor in a knockout format. So one of the other new uh, features coming up is uh, more variation in time of day and weather so we've got a lot more uh, variety throughout the tracks you've got uh, snow and ice so you'll be able to go through all the tracks and drive through everything from slush to ice to deep uh, packed snow drive past snow banks which you'll be able to deform and look great in replays um, we've got rain of varying degrees, everything from a light drizzle all the way up to uh, a heavy monsoon and thunderstorm. Um, we've also got time of day so you'll be able to go back to the same tracks but uh, it won't be as repetitive because you'll be able to race in them at sunrise, sunset and even at night. We're always improving the, the handling in, uh, in our Dirt series uh, and across F1 and, and the Grid series. So every iteration, every game that we make, we, we make small tweaks. So the vehicle handling guys have been uh, talking with drivers, they've been talking with the car engineers. Um, Gin's gone to uh, Bowler and spoken about the dampers that they use there. So we feed that back to our physics programmers and uh, they put it all together in a package that the vehicle handling designers can then use to uh, set up the cars and make them handle as accurately as possible. So we get a load of research data from the owners of the cars, uh, from the teams that, that use the cars in competition. We feed that into our physics system. The car handles pretty well straight, straight from the, the get-go but then um, we tweak it so that it feels uh, better for gameplay so that people can just pick up and play the game and, and really enjoy themselves. The, the physics system is the same but we're obviously putting different attributes into the car so the Fiesta that Ken Block will take down a rally stage 300 brake horsepower designed to deal with rugged terrain whereas the Gymkhana car he drives 600 brake horsepower it's set up to be dynamic, nimble, pull off long drifts as well as tight little donuts around, around objects so in that respect um, the physics is the same at its core but then our vehicle handling guys set the car up differently so that it performs uh, in the correct way for that particular driver. So we've got more routes, more cars, uh, we've got fantastic weather conditions, we've got social aspects uh, and we've got uh, video sharing. So we're just rolling it into the complete off-road racing package. We're, we're really happy with Dirt 3 so far. Looking forward to its release in Q2 2011.